So I'm sure there's probably a lot of people here who have dropped their smartphone and broken it, right? I'm sure there's a lot of people who have been pretty frustrated with that. Um, in the last several years, the smartphone market has gotten incredibly stagnant. I'm sure we can all agree on that. Um, and this all started for me uh, about, about two and a half, three years ago. Uh, when I was repairing smartphones, I was taking a lot of phones apart, and I eventually got to an iPhone, and I, re I took it apart, and I realized, wow, what a piece of shit. I could probably do a lot better. So I started mixing and matching components, trying to solve a lot of the problems that most smartphone has. And don't get me wrong, when the iPhone first came out, it was fantastic. We, we all got one, most of us. I had one. But in the last decade, they, they really haven't, haven't changed the form factor, the design of the phone. And I think a lot of other people are starting to kind of realize that. So again, I started mixing and matching components, trying to build something more innovative, completely different. And I started uh, to try to build a company out of it. I started interviewing engineers and people, and they all told me that I was crazy, that I was stupid, that I wouldn't succeed. And I shouldn't do it because it would take tens of years and would cost millions of dollars. Imagine had you told Martin Luther King or NASA you shouldn't have equality. You shouldn't go to the space because it'll take too many years and it'll cost millions of dollars. But luckily, I found some people who believed and they shared my vision. They shared my passion that we could make the world a better place and we could change an entire industry. And we did that by creating the portal. 2014, we launched this. It's probably the world's first flexible smartphone. So it's one of the first phones that can actually be worn. It's a hybrid. And it, it slides into an armband uh, like a wearable or it could be used like a regular phone. It's flexible, it's shatterproof. You could take it in water and it also glows. So it's one of the first phones that you can actually take with you uh, from the pool to the office to Mount Everest. Uh, it, and it also has enterprise applications as well. Uh, the market, I can promise you this is not niche market. Every person in this room has a smartphone. Uh, if you don't know how big the smartphone market is, you probably shouldn't be involved in it. Our team, we've managed to build a pretty good team. We have a lot of ex-C-level uh, uh, executives from Qualcomm, uh, General Electric. We have probably one of the best patent attorneys in California. A lot of people from ex-VPs of Qualcomm, myself, completely unqualified, by the way. Uh, we have Jesse who's uh, our, out, our outsourced engineering operation. He's worked at lots of telecom companies. Uh, the growth that we've had in the, the interest has, has gotten pretty phenomenal. Uh, since we launched our new website just a few months ago, we've got thousands and thousands of people uh, knocking on our door trying to get a smartphone. Uh, 12,000 so far, actually, uh, just within a few months. Uh, and that's zero marketing dollars spent. Uh, and collectively, in that time period, just six million uh, YouTube views. We originally built this company off $47,000, and we've managed to build it into a multi-million dollar company. We built alpha prototypes, we filed patents, we built a communication satellite, which we won't talk about right now. We also got an offer in, in writing uh, from a major US carrier, okay? For $1.45 million, and that's not even an equity deal. And the most important, we just picked up a 50,000 unit purchase order. It's over $30 million. So there obviously has to be a strategy and it's incredibly complex. We don't have enough time for that. So I broke it down into six simple phases. We're in phase one, completing design schematics, Gerber data, uh, and then we'll build a small run of hand-built prototypes that we will then uh, validate and submit for uh, UL testing for FCC and CE government certifications, things like that. Then most importantly, we have to tool up. We have to team up with our contract manufacturers, uh, which we do have. Uh, and then the, the tedious and boring part is establishing the uh, distribution logistics, uh, the return and warranty uh, logistics and things like that. And then lastly, a collaborative marketing strategy with our retailer. Our financial model uh, actually started much earlier than we thought, and it's pretty complex, so we won't go into that because we're amongst mixed company. But anyways, that's, uh, that's the portal. Um, that's the future. You're welcome. <laughs>